Right, it's time for Gone in 60 Seconds. Basically, it's, it's a debate. One question, 60 seconds to debate it. If you're boring me, I'm going to hit the bell. Ready? If you're boring us, can we hit the bell? Yeah, of course Go you can, on. but I'll never bore you, <laughs> do you know what? No. Right, hey, are we ready? We got Chris Sutton the sack last week. Listen, listen. <laughs> 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 right, are we ready? First question is... Are England the sixth best team in the world after the FIFA rankings come out? No, they're not. I think they're on their way to being very, very good side. I think there's a lot of encouragement after that World Cup. A lot of young players, Gareth Southgate's building something there. Um, but at the moment, are they a finished article? Are they sixth best team in the league, uh, in the world? No, they're not. No, they've got one world-class player, Harry Kane. Uh, I think they are. Yeah, I do. The, the number of depth of goalkeepers, front to back, we've got world-class for it all. And the average age, very, very young. Maybe not six-ish now, but come the European Championships. Would you keep Pogba or Mourinho? I'd keep Mourinho. Players come and go. The manager is more important than anybody else at the club. Um, I'd like to keep them both. You know, I think that um, they can work together. Obviously, Mourinho. You can't. You mean, can't. Oh, oh but I mean you. Oh, then I'm going to. Then I'm going to keep. I'm going to. At the moment, if I had to make a decision today, I'm making. Uh, I think Pogba wants to be there more than Mourinho. Yeah, agree. Pogba definitely. He's class. The fans have had enough of Mourinho as well. Yeah. Track, suit, track suit manager or blazer? Blazer at home where you can come out of your car and straight on the side of the pitch. When you're travelling on a bus for hours and hours, tracksuit, get wet, away from home, back on the bus, wear a tracksuit. <laughs> I, like, um, I like what Man City are doing, you know, yeah. smart casual, I think. Uh, Pep James a goalpost. Pep has yeah, but nobody mentioned Tramp. <laughs> <laughs> no, smart casual, but nobody mentioned... He, he, see him last Let's week. face it, Pep can do what he wants, yeah. can't he? I mean, the, whatever he wears, he's going to look good. If you are, you're just indifferent. Right, next one. Best goalkeeper in the Premier League, rate apart from David De Gea. Can I say Joe Hart? <laughs> you can? No, it wouldn't be him, no. Uh, I don't think anyone comes close to De Gea other than Edison. Play two different styles of football. Edison's perfect for what they do. De Gea's perfect for what United do. Alison. I like Bye. Edison. I like Edison. I think that Edison's got, he's great with his feet and it doesn't mean that he plays tippy-tappy football around his penalty area. He's got a range of passing, he smashes it forward. For me, I think that Edison is the, is the top man. After Chris Sutton's revelations on BT Sports score last week, Cardiff could have the worst points in the Premier League. How many points will Cardiff get this season? Well, if they can get 40 points or 38 points to stay in the league, it'll be like Man City winning the league again. I think it would be a miracle for them to stay in the league. I think that they haven't got the strength in depth, they haven't got the quality in their squad, but they've got togetherness and they've got a manager who knows how to get the job done. Brilliant. Last one. Right. Who's got more Premier League assists? Mesut Ozil, James Milner, Paul Scholes or David Silva? Easy. Paul Scholes. Easy. I think Scholes. Paul Mil uh, James Milner. James Milner. I think I've seen this stat before. It might surprise people. He's played an enormous amount of games and he affects every game he plays in. The answer was James Milner with 79. Well done, <laughs> there we go.